All right, time to find out if I'm gonna be disappointed or if I'm gonna be happy about it. After many months of waiting, I finally have my Primus on hand. The standard kits for the Primus actually arrived a lot faster, but because I decided to take a risk by choosing the secret kit, it took quite a bit longer since they were manufactured after all the standard kits were finished. Although Lewis's original plan was to keep the colors a secret until people unboxed their keyboards, he actually published some leaks probably due to the fact that the group buy dragged on a lot longer than what was expected. Therefore, I actually knew before unboxing this keyboard that there were three potential colorways. Eva, Olivia, and Polycarb. Even though all three colorways look pretty cool, I don't have any sets to match the Eva colors, so I was really hoping that I would get either the Olivia edition or the PC version. The Primus comes in two boxes, one containing the accessories and one containing the keyboard case. Taking a look at the accessories first, there's a piece of paper containing the QR code and a link to the build guide, a small bag containing the screws, LEDs, light diffusers, LED foam, silicon gasket strips, and the hex key, the pour-on plate foam, an extra brass plate that I bought, two PCBs, one that came with the kit and one extra that I purchased as well, and finally the Primus Core, which is essentially a cool looking badge. Now moving on to the keyboard case box. There's a nice sleeve that protects the box and once you remove it, it reveals the premium packaging that came with this keyboard. The box is really high quality and makes the unboxing experience feel premium. Lewis mentioned that a Primus carrying case would also be sold as an extra accessory, so I might pick one up if it looks cool, but if not, the box is nice enough where I think it could serve that purpose as well. Moment of truth. So now it's time for the big reveal and nice, I got the PC version. To be honest, I had some suspicions that I'd gotten the PC Primus because when I lifted up the box, it felt pretty light. I'm really happy that I got the secret version because if I got the Eva version, I'd have to probably find someone to trade with, or if that isn't possible, sell it, which would be a shame since I've been waiting for this board for over a year. For this build, I wanted to continue the transparent look, so I went with Everglide Aqua Water King V3 switches and clear Duroc V2 stabs. Unfortunately, I did not pick up a polycarb plate in the original group buy, and I'm stuck with a brass plate and the default aluminum plate. I picked up the brass plate in the original group buy because at the time, I was still new to the hobby and wasn't sure what type of typing feel and sound I liked. So I just chose what sounded like the most premium option, thinking that plastic is cheap. And if I was going to spend big money in buying a keyboard, I wasn't going to buy a plastic plate for it. Big regrets now, but Lewis has said that there will be extra parts for sale for this keyboard, so I'm just currently waiting for that. The Primus is pretty easy to assemble and there's also a build guide, so it's a pretty easy build. I did spend some time in deciding what order I wanted to have my LED indicators in, which are located in the top left corner next to the escape key. I eventually decided on going with white for caps lock, blue for scroll lock, and red for num lock in that order. The color choice for scroll lock and num lock didn't really matter to me because I don't plan to map keys for those functions, but I did want to make sure that the caps lock light indicator was white because it would be the one that I use the most often or might accidentally trigger, so I wanted it to match the theme of the case. Now came my one issue with this board. In order to disassemble the Primus, you have to unscrew the weight first and according to the manual and the pictures I've seen, they're supposed to be screwed down with hex screws that can be opened with a given hex key. However, for my Primus, they use different screws so I couldn't use an M2.5 hex key to open up my keyboard. Luckily, I found an M2 hex key so I was able to disassemble the board. But if I didn't have this tool, this would have been extremely frustrating. For my Primus, the keycaps I'll be using are the Osumi Sakura. I think that the Frosted Primus works well with a lighter set, so I think that it works well and looks very cute. Since the recording of my original view of the keycaps, I have fixed the spacebar so hopefully you'll be able to hear that in the type test. So without further ado,
Although the mounting style for the Primus is gasket mount, the board isn't very flexy at all. This is probably due to the fact that I'm using the default aluminum plate and the provided silicone gaskets. Therefore, I am looking forward to getting my hands on some extras so I can try out different configurations with maybe a different plate material and pour on gaskets. Compared to some of the other Primus builds out there, my build has a pretty deep sound which is probably mainly due to the fact that my board is made of polycarbonate rather than aluminum. I know it's not the most scientific comparison because there are so many factors that go into a keyboard type test recording, but this is just a rough comparison. The Water Kings feel really smooth, but they do feel heavier than my Gadron Ink Black switches, even though they have a similar actuation force. I think it might be because they came factory lubed, though I did try wiping off all the lube when I applied my layer of Cryotox 205G0. Luckily, I didn't have the issues that some other people faced where the switches would get stuck or have a slow return, so overall, I'm pretty happy with these switches. Side note, I actually bought a white KVD fans cable from Divinity to match this board and it fucking sucks. The coils are not the same size which makes it look super bad, and I hate how the connectors face the same direction because you can't choose the orientation for these cables. Maybe for some, the orientation is okay, but for my setup, it causes the cable to be angled in a super awkward orientation which will also lead to the coils losing tension because of how it's stretched out. Worst of all, these cables cost $59, which are more than the ones I got from Test Cables, which are of better quality. The folks at Divinity were nice and let me return the cable, but after this experience, I would definitely recommend against buying KBD fans cables. It could be that I just had a bad experience, but that would mean that the QC just isn't up to par at the moment. Anyways, back to the keyboard, I really love my Primus. I think that it looks and sounds great and I'm really excited to try more configurations when ILMKB sells extra parts. Although I would have loved that my Primus come earlier, I understand that there were a lot of difficulties due to the pandemic and various shipping problems. The main gripe that I think I saw in the Discord was related to communication. There honestly wasn't that much communication for this board, and while I understand that sometimes group by runners just don't have any updates, I think it probably frustrated a lot of people when there was either absolutely no communication, or when they saw that the group by runners were active in other channels promoting new products. I've kind of gotten used to this since I've been in the hobby for some time now, but I do think that it's something that group by owners should probably consider, especially when their product gets delayed. No communication at all is definitely worse than some communication, even if it's not related to the progress of the product, at least in my opinion. There will be extra premium kits that will be sold once fulfillment is complete, and from what I've heard, it'll be a blind box with a set color configuration. Not too much information has been given out on this yet, but if you are interested, I would recommend joining the ILMKB Discord so you can get updates. 